before Alexander Yanias dies, before Alexandra Salome becomes sole ruler, Alexander Yanias embarks on um, conquering Egyptian lands. So he conquers a huge chunk of the Levant region, southern, closest to Egypt. The lands of Judea expand to as large as they're going to be. But Alexander Yanias triggers yet another civil war. The Jewish rebel, pardon me, rebels go to the Seleucids for assistance, which Alexander is only able to put down through the use of outside mercenaries. So this is yet another civil war. And Alexander Yanias undergoes another civil war following this one after he has a failed invasion of Arabia. Alexander Yanias loses his entire army to the Arabian king and this triggers yet another internal civil war against Alexander Yanias who again has to put down internally through the use of mercenaries. According to Josephus, Alexander has to kill, quoting Josephus, not fewer than 50,000 of the Jews in the interval of six years. A six-year-long civil war is going on under the rulership of Alexander Yanias, and he only gains peace through atrocities against his own people. Quoting Josephus again, for when he had ordered 800 to be hung upon crosses in the midst of the city, he had their throats of their wives and children cut before their eyes. And these executions he saw as he was drinking and laying down with his concubines. Upon which so deep a surprise seized on the people that 8,000 of his opposers fled away the very next night out of all of Judea whose flight was only terminated by Alexander's death. Just to let that sink in here, Alexander Unias is sitting down with a bunch of his concubines, eating food, drinking, laying out on a couch as he watches 800 of his rebels that he's captured being crucified and watching the wives and children of those people watching their throats be cut right in front of those crucified people and he's sitting there drinking some wine eating some food and lazing around with his concubines this is somebody who's beyond hardcore this is what we would call biblical this is right up there with the atrocities of Syrians and Babylonian kings. So you can understand Alexander Unias is not very well loved by um, Judean people. Now he did gain peace, he did put down the civil war, and he does die. And when he does die, he leaves his kingdom to his wife, not to his children. His wife, Alexandra Salome, the one who was able to run Aristobulus as a puppet king and played Aristobulus off his brother Antigonus, had them kill each other. The one who named Alexander Unias as king and then married him. And now as Alexander Unias dies, she's left in sole charge and she rules competently she increases the army she increases the land she builds uh, you know the borders up creates security for the people she reconciles with uh, the group called the pharisees who have been persecuted under um, alexander Unias, 